Hey, old planet sewers. Welcome back to the Wetlands Mini Zoo. And what we're going to do today is I said we were going to do the new Caymans, but I lied. So, what we're actually going to do is we're going to work on this little area that's eventually going to be another waterfall. And I was inspired to add the wild water buffalo right here. Um, so, I'm starting that little section. I kind of wish. I had thought that um, a little sooner, but I cannot take out, well, I mean, I can, but it would be a lot of work. I could take the water out um, to make this, you know, a nice full water section. So what I'm gonna do is just do some rocks and we're gonna put some little rapids going across here. And that will hopefully give us the effect of water rushing over this little area and going down the other side so that um, we have a nice pretty waterfall where our wild water buffalo are going to be. I know I had said we were going to do the, the new Cayman, um, and I started that, as you can see here. I went around and changed all of those barriers into um, this rock barrier with the Arctic um, wood and little, uh, I don't even know what you call that, but um, lattice, there we go. Anyway, I decided I would use this all the way around. Um, so I did start doing that for the uh, Cayman's habitat. However, I got distracted and went down and started doing the wild water buffalo instead. So next episode, we will kind of fancy up these habitats a little bit. Uh, they just have animals for the most part, not a whole lot of plants. Um, so we're not gonna finish the wild water buffalo because I just kind of went with where my mind was inspired to build today um, and so that was to kind of finish off the barrier here with this um, arctic theme barrier rail um, not that we're really going for an arctic theme but that's where it's from and so I wanted to get that completed because it is a little tedious and it does take some time so you can see I went back and took out the one I didn't like and changed it to this one um, not that I didn't like the other fence I just felt it didn't go very well with the one going on the bridge and I liked the bridge one much better so here we are starting our rock work for what will be another uh, waterfall and we'll probably complete that in the next ex episode uh, in two weeks because next week will be Houston Zoo again so I just uh, took the aligned surface off and brought the rocks out and just doodled them around. Um, up here I decided I kind of wanted that water to um, be on over the rock and so I wanted to make sure that we kind of had that look because I'm going to put some water shooting over it. I know it's a little uh, kind of reverse but unfortunately um, that's just the way it has to be for the barrier and getting this effect. So hopefully it'll look good when I'm finished. I'm sure it will. Um, and so I'm putting in my little pool here for the water buffalo. I did realize that they probably still needed the depth, so I had to go back and kind of smooth it back out. Um, and I figured they could probably get in. It's got a nice shelf and they can swim. And we'll go ahead and add some more rocks. My most favorite thing in the world, rock work. Not really. Um, <laughs> it is a little mindlessly fun sometimes, but other times it's not mindlessly fun. I have to think pretty hard about it um, but the more I do it the better it gets I just feel like I do rock work all the time um, anyway so we're going to bring that tunnel this direction to do an entrance as I was doing my rock work I was like hmm this looks like a great place for an entrance um, so I started it right here and I decided to go back and take out that little bit of um, path that I had and I wanted this to be a little more inside it was really tricky trying to get this to work um, so I smoothed it out a couple of times and then finally I worked my way back to get the path to connect and I saw it I was like "Ooh, all right here we go and then it wouldn't uh, connect in there so smooth some more um, you know back the path up and then I finally got that to connect um, and then right there, it was being really weird. It would not uh, cooperate with me. So I was like, oh, I'll just keep going. Um, I did have to go back and fix it. 
it was blocking them in they couldn't get over it I tried a couple of different things to fix that um, and then I ended up having to take the barrier door out and redo it in order to get it uh, to let me flatten out that little space which is interesting um, that it would do that but anyway that was the way it was we're gonna pick out uh, our water buffalo and we're gonna put them in I made a mistake I got all four uh, I should have left one behind and just got two girls and one boy not sure why I got two boys but anyway um, so we're gonna put the little hut in here originally I started to put it outside and then I changed my mind uh, decided we'll just tuck it away inside of this area it really did not want to connect so I just grabbed it again and moved it until it did um, because I really I'm not worried what it looks like um, and this is not a guest area and we're just gonna tuck it away underground so I just wanted everything to function and and get it to work so we'll come back along here later and cover that up from the guest view and here we go with that struggle um, of trying to get this to work and I took out all my other tries of adding rocks and things um, hello Ruby just to you know save some time uh, what did work was getting rid of that barrier and then putting it back after getting this nice and smooth and where they can get in and out of it um, just in case one gets boxed or has to be taken away for whatever reason um, it will still allow them to go in and out uh, on their own without me having to unbox them or move them from the entrance area into another area where they are able to freely move it said that they needed some hard shelter um, and I just picked this because it's woodsy and I thought it would just be you know kind of a nice accent to what we were doing over with the um, guardrails on the upper section I decided I would line this with the wall here instead of using a fence um, but stick with the same material so that we kind of have a little continuity between the two areas but something a little different I wish I had uh, thought about my roofing a little bit more um, right here I knew this was going to be difficult with how I was building this um, but I should have started my roof idea right here instead of continuing on but I was able to figure out a way uh, to get this to translate from one side to the other that was not 100% painful so anyway um, what I ended up doing is once I got this kind of up with the slope how I wanted um, I created the one piece and then I used one of the grid pieces so that I could I have better control and get it to kind of line up uh, even though you can't put it back into a different grid so to speak um, and I was able to line that up kind of into that space uh, so that it would kind of you know go with everything uh, you'll see that here in a minute um, so for the custom roof I just used a uh, beam there and then used the non grid matching piece to this wall um, so I really wanted this side to just blend in uh, I really didn't want the building to you know be super elaborate or anything like that I just wanted it to be simple um, so you can see right there that's how I just kind of I tucked it in and then I deleted it because you could see the lines um, since it wasn't in the same grid so that I could uh, put that back and then I used uh, the one in the grid set because those are all in the same grid right there to just go ahead and move it over to the other side and then I decided um, I'll copy that out over to these guys right here um, I could have you know I guess kept the same idea with the um, you know piece that's right here from the Arctic set however I decided I did want to use the lattice work here so that they would be able to have light inside their shelter um, so they do have a hard shelter but also you know a little area where the light can come through um, that was kind of the feel I was going I redid this a couple of times uh, originally I wanted this to go all the way up and then go over however I really struggled with getting it to copy easily uh, so I redid it a couple of times 
Um, and then I really could not get it to rotate and connect very nicely on the other side. And I did this one by one a couple of times. Um, and I ended up just, I found a spot in all of that where I kind of liked its little half area that it was taking up uh, instead of going all the way back down into the rock. So I end up, you'll see here in a minute, uh, leaving it with it kind of open. And the other reason for that was kind of, um, you know, with the guests coming along on that path on the other side, uh, maybe it would give them just a little bit, you know, of a view into it. If they're walking by, they might catch a glimpse of the water buffalo hanging out inside their shelter as they walk through, uh, kind of as a teaser as you come through. Uh, I'm sure they'll have nice, terrible thoughts about my idea. <laughs> um, but in a real life, you know, you'd be like, oh, hey, I'm going to walk over here um, and let me walk down and actually check out the whole habitat, not just, hey, the view here is horrible, um, because you're really intended to walk around, uh, but anyway, and then I decided to kind of cover that little section right there, um, with this, um, elaborate little post, and then I decided to kind of go through different options, and I end up picking that guy, uh, to just create a nice little roof topper, and right there is where I added in the beam, and I just kind of said, I'm done, uh, this is good. So we're gonna copy that over. I end up taking quite a bit of those rocks out. Um, I was trying to accomplish one thing and then they weren't really serving the purpose I needed anymore. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just take those out so they're not in the way of the water buffalo. Um, they can actually walk in there. And here's where I get distracted from the habitat and decide I'm gonna make a restaurant. Um, I want a little restaurant right here as they, the guests here are entering, you know, walking by and going up to the other part of the zoo. Um, and I wanted it to kind of be like a terrace idea where that they can view the habitats. Um, I'm thinking about adding uh, another habitat to the left here. Um, maybe the cranes will put in uh, just a, a simple habitat. Uh, the red crown crane would be a good habitat right here. Uh, originally, I was kind of thinking about flamingos and then remembered, hey, we do have another bird. Um, you know, so we have a couple options right here. Uh, so this restaurant's going to kind of go out and over a little bit into the wild water buffalo habitat. And then we have the left side here, um, thinking about extending out that waterfall that's there and, you know, adding in some nice features for the left side of the view of this restaurant um, and then the right side of the view is the water buffaloes um, so I just kind of really liked the way this um, I don't even know what piece it is but it is from the classic area of stuff selection um, but anyway I just flipped it over I kind of like the shape that it made uh, with this arch here and so I kind of went with it um, that one stands up there for a little while until I finally do take it down and we're gonna replace it with something else as I go around. Um, I was just trying different things. Uh, at first I was, oh yeah, I like this idea uh, with that kind of catty corner thing. And then I changed my mind. I decided I'm gonna stay a little more boxy uh, with this build here. And we end up you know, just recreating this over to the other side. Um, I did make a mistake and didn't drop it all the way down. Um, so I did have to go back and fix that later, but I thought this turned out kind of cool uh, with its view and just the shapes that it has. I really liked the circular uh, look that these arches made when I flipped them over and put them together. And I'm matching the colors of our entrance building a little bit, um, so we kind of got a little theme going with the colors. They're not the best colors in the world, it's just what we ended up with, or I ended up with, I guess. Um, I'm matching that weird color that comes from that brick circle over there uh, is what I was kind of going for and so we just have this interesting little building here um, I think I will put it up on the workshop I'm gonna spend a little time uh, next week going through all my zoos and looking for items that are usable in a workshop setting and getting those added to the workshop. I uh, have been a little behind on doing that. I get done building and exit the game and I'm like, oh yeah, 
or I make the actual workshop item and forget to upload it before I leave the zoo. And so I do need to do that. Um, so I've got quite a few things that I've built that I do need to go ahead and add. So we're going to put in our uh, rooftop terrace here. And I thought about putting in, you know, some like an elevator, quote unquote, area up here on top to kind of make it a little more realistic. Um, however, I ended up not doing that. I ended up just kind of going with what it looked like up here. Um, so they just magically poof instead of being fully realistic and adding in a little box area for like an elevator or something. And since that's kind of the idea that the restaurant uses uh, to teleport them, so to speak, uh, so they walk through that little black hole and they just poof out into the tables. Um, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to have a little elevator up there. Um, part of me really hopes that this is going to be a thing in the future maybe uh, with the restaurant having this feature for guests to kind of teleport to the table and then back out of the restaurant again um, that maybe in the future one day uh, Planet Zoo might give us you know the elevator function uh, where you could have two stories and not have to use stairs per se for the pass you know the, uh, it'll just whoop, up they go Anyway, uh, things we wish for sometimes. I was trying different ideas uh, for the support out here, and um, I didn't really like that once I got it in. I was gonna do this arch here, um, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't even right there to keep it. I could have split it uh, and tried something different, but I decided I'll just grab this and bring it over here, and we will make it fit a little differently. Um, so I decided to just kind of keep that little look that we have right here. Um, also to kind of make a little bit of a barrier, because uh, I'm going to need to build that. I haven't done that yet. Uh, so the next episode we will work on those things. I'm going to finish off the barrier for this habitat, because I got distracted by this restaurant. And uh, we'll start on the uh, Cayman habitat for the new Cayman that is a part of this uh, wetlands DLC, the spectacle, the spec, I can't talk, spectacled caiman, there we go, um, and I went through a couple of ideas for this door right here, and this was what I ended up with, and this really inspired, um, a lot of different things when I was doing this, um, because, you know, it's like the, the porthole idea, you know, in the wetlands about, um, and then, I don't know, just the look of this building kind of had an older era, you know, the, you have the classic era, um, and it just reminded me kind of like, uh, for me it was like Cars, the movie, and you have Flo's V8 um, diner, and it has that big thing coming up the top, um, I guess, I think, I don't, I'm not an architect, I don't study architecture, so I'm probably wrong, um, but is it, maybe it's Art Deco? Question mark. But anyway, um, you know, just that older style from the 20s and the 30s is what that felt like to me, and I, I enjoyed it and the way it looked. So I went ahead and went with it and decided, uh, what's that going to look like if I um, do this all the way around? So I wasn't sure if I still needed that little group of circles that I started with um, and so I scooted it off to the side and here I'm still kind of thinking about how I'm going to do this uh, and I decided uh, yeah I'm going to go all the way around with it um, one of the ideas I had was more uh, just across from each other and leave it open and then I decided I would use this on the far section for support inside the habitat because I just felt like it really did need that support out there it looked a little you know unsupported so um and we're gonna go around and kind of add in all those little details and get rid of the extras or scoot them around all the little things to make this you know work once i duplicated everything over and we're going to cover up that little section because we're going to go ahead and add some floor over there and some more tables so i wanted to go ahead and drop down uh, some workers to get this working and over on this side it really doesn't matter 
how high the floor is um, because I'm not going to put a path here, which is one of the wonderful things about the restaurants is you have that uh, freedom not to worry about where the path goes. Um, as long as they can get into the restaurant, then the tables are linked, you are good to go. Um, you know, you have a radius that those tables have to be in for the restaurant to work. Um, but you get those three pieces going and it just opens up a lot of possibilities when you build these things and I think they're super fun. I get really excited um, to put these in. I wish I could put them all over. However, I do know you still need the little freestanding, um, I guess, kiosk booths and the countertop stuff. Um, so we're going to add some of that in, of course, later uh, as they're walking through the different parts. And I noticed, okay, I've got 20 out of 20 tables when I got to this section, and I really wanted some down below. So I went ahead and deleted a few tables and scooted some over so we have less up on the roof and we still have uh, room to link in some more tables uh, to go here. Um, I mean, I guess if I wanted to, I could have linked another restaurant um, like underground and maybe poofed them up here. You know, that may be a good idea now that I say it out loud um, to put in a restaurant um, in the underside and that it you know brings them top side and it shares kind of the space and uh, with our uh, wild buffalo diner let me have to look into that anyway so we're gonna get our name on here for this diner and that's about it for you guys i'm sorry it's kind of a wonky short episode i hope you have a great week and i'll see you soon with houston too may the rng odds be ever in your favor